everybody. My name is Luke Serrano. I'm a tour guide here at Missouri s and And today we'll be taking you through one of our buildings called Toomey Hall. It is home to the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start our tour. Hope you guys have a good time. I'll talk a little bit about uh, the size of the classrooms because a lot of people, uh, that's an, like a, a commonly asked question. Uh, for your first two years or so, uh, taking those uh, lower level classes, such as calculus, your physics, chemistry possibly, you might have a bigger class. Uh, that's just because more kids and more majors take those classes. But as you get further in your degree path, uh, you'll find that the class uh, classes do get smaller. Uh, you know, the, the sophomore and junior level classes, usually about 50 to 60. Uh, but they might split them up into different sections, so you might not even you might only have a class of say 20 to 30. Um, from my personal experience, I haven't had uh, a difficult time with the size of the classes. They are pretty small. It's not like your three, two, three hundred kid uh, lecture rooms. As far as getting questions answered for professors, there all of them work uh, with you. A lot of the professors have office hours, which is basically when their office is free to come in and for you to ask questions. So it's usually not a problem at all. And I've had no troubles here so far. The next stop will be Toomey 189, which is our biggest lecture hall here inside of Toomey. Uh, and then we're gonna take a look at the Student Success Center. The Success Center is a place where students can come to get help on homework. Uh, we have different tutors here that tutor uh, different classes at different times. Um, but yeah, it's just a good place to come and get work done, especially because of the, the tutor aspect. Um, just having that help with your homework and someone who knows what they're doing is very helpful. I have the golden key. Any door. Alright everybody, this is the vacuum chamber. Uh, we use this uh, on campus. It's obviously a very unique feature of campus. Not a lot of schools have this and it's a definite benefit of s &T. Some of our design teams uh, use this here. With the satellite team, we use it for some testing to simulate space-like conditions. Uh, since the vacuum sucks all the air out of the chamber and essentially uh, it's a vacuum, it has nothing in it. PhD students are doing research with the vacuum chamber as well as different companies that reach out to s and uh, to use our vacuum chamber for their research. Um, so it's a very unique feature of s and and it's just really cool. Welcome to the machine shop. So here in the machine shop, we have different 3D printers and different technology that helps us manufacture parts for our design teams and other mechanical engineering classes. This is very unique because for our design teams, the design team can come here and present the workers here with uh, a design that they need for their project and we can manufacture it in-house here at Missouri S&T. Uh, this is very beneficial for our design teams. It gives us an edge against when we compete against other schools. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys just look at some of the machines that we have. A lot of times uh, you just you submit a file and the computer with inside the machine reads it. You have to do a little bit of work manually, but for the most part, the machine will take over and design your part. everybody that sums up the first floor we're gonna go ahead and take a trip up to floor two so this is what the students refer to as the fishbowl it's basically a place where students can go and work on homework they have access to campus computers uh, different programs and software that is installed on those computers locally um, it's just a good place to go and work obviously there's always going to be in someone in there uh, always got tests quizzes projects uh, so yeah, it's definitely a busy area and a great place to get worked on. Now we have come to just a common area on the second floor. This is an area where kids can hang out, do work. Uh, a lot of kids that have group projects oftentimes get together here uh, to work on the project. Um, honestly, I kind of just use it in between classes if I have nothing to do. I'll just go ahead and sit here, uh, do homework, watch YouTube, chill on my phone, whatever. But it's just a good place to, uh, to come. Uh, hang out. Here on the second floor of Toomey, we have a lot of our classrooms and a computer lab. Uh, these classrooms are sizing usually about 30 kids or so. 
Uh, it makes for, like I said before, smaller classes and just good overall learning environment. So here in the third floor to me, we have our subsonic wind tunnel. Uh, so we get an inlet from over here, we run through, and this is really uh, the area where we look to take uh, readings, usually pressure measurements along an airfoil. Wind goes that way, up and out of the building. Um, so yeah, we use this a lot in our sophomore design class for arrows. Um, we build these model planes, which I can show you real quick. So this is an example of the sophomore design course where you build this model airplane and fly it in the gym. Uh, you basically go through the, uh, the engineering process of determining uh, if your plane will fly or not uh, and designing the best plane for your desires. So over here, we have a model wing. We have uh, different stretch gauges on the wing of the aircraft because obviously you're going to get some flex in the material and a stretch gauge will help us determine whether or not that material will fail or not because obviously you want to be safe in the air and don't have a wing going flying off uh, while you're in the air. Um, so yeah, we just have different research going on here with that. Um, but yeah, this is our, uh, the, usually the sophomore design lab. So here we have our satellite uh, design team research lab. All right, so this is our satellite design team research lab. Uh, we currently have two missions going on. One, uh, which is Mr. Mrs. Sat, which is right here. Uh, this is a, a mission where Mrs. Sat will detach from Mr. Sat, and Mr. Sat will perform different maneuvers around Mrs. Sat. So the satellite team is a student-led design team. Basically, we get funding from outside sources or that we go out and seek funding uh, for our projects. And these are real satellites that are gonna be flown into space. Um, so it's really unique here at s &T. Not a lot of schools have satellite teams, let alone satellite teams that are actually putting satellites in space. So I personally, I've learned uh, so much from this design team with the satellite team. Um, and honestly, I really attribute my value as an engineer to this team. And I love it, honestly, and I love working with the team. Everyone's very nice, and I'm learning every single time I step in the lab. So now we're here in the Senior Aircraft Design Laboratory. Uh, this is basically, so you saw before our sophomore design aircrafts, uh, much simpler, and they're pretty much designed, or you have the constraints to where they're gonna fly regardless. But now when we transition into Senior Aircraft Design, we now have a budget that they have to stick to, as well as the actual engineering and manufacturing is broadened. Uh, the scale is also amplified. So we saw that the size of those aircrafts, uh, but now if we come and look at the size of these aircrafts, much larger scale and a lot more freedom for the students. All right, everybody, that wraps up our tour today of Tumi Hall. I hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, had fun uh, seeing some of our labs and some of our rooms here in Tumi. Um, like I said again, uh, if you're considering Missouri s and I strongly recommend that you do come here. Um, the opportunity at this school is very large, especially with our design teams. If that's one piece of advice I could give you guys, it would be to join a design team. The amount of value that you will get from your experiences and the skills that you will get from those experiences with the design teams are worth a significant dollar amount. They're very valuable because then the skills and experiences that you've gone through, you can present to different companies that may help you get an internship or job in the future. And I am very appreciative of everything here at Missouri ACT. It's really allowed me to grow at an incredible rate. And I just really feel strongly about Missouri ACT as a school. And they definitely produce strong engineers. Thank you guys today again. Um, Luke Serrano. We'll see you guys later.